Good evening, everyone. How's everybody doing tonight? It's uh, been a couple of groggy, blah kind of days. I don't know if you guys have been feeling that way too. Kind of blah. If you have, don't worry. This is just a restart. I have to remind myself of that as well. Um, yeah. Um, so, we have another giveaway this today and it's actually kind of funny because it's my mom <laughs> she popped up so uh pamela baker you are the winner <laughs> um so i'll reach out to you and uh we can connect and i'll give that to you probably this weekend all right um congratulations um also i just wanted to like put it out there to people um that are really interested in moldavite my story um so I bought a ring like probably like five or six years ago and I for some reason I didn't like it I felt like it was too bulky and like so I just took it off and um and I and it was in my drawer and then all of a sudden you know just about um, about a year ago I felt like really called to Moldavite so I said you know what I found my ring and I put it on and um and, and I found, and then I, I went and I bought a stone and come to find out it was fake. Um, and I posted it up onto the Moldavite experience group on Facebook. And my, um, my beautiful friends were like, that's uh, totally fake, you know? And um, some beautiful soul messaged me and was like, I want to gift you a Moldavite. Which one of these do you like? And he had his handful of Moldavite pieces, and I was able to choose which one I wanted. Um, and uh, anyways, when I received that piece, holding it in my hand, my whole entire body started to tingle and feel warm. I felt like I was being, like, hugged. Like I was being wrapped in a loving embrace. My hand was vibrating and hot, and it was like i believe i like i thought crystals were cool and everything and then i connected to moldavite and then i was like holy shit like no this is not placebo effect or like um mind over matter or whatever this shit is real this energy shit is real the crystal shit is real and i could feel it in my hand and after connecting with moldavite and i i started wearing it like on me every single day i got earrings and everything and i was wearing it on me for about at least about six months straight really without taking it off the only time i would take it off is to like charge it or um cleanse it under the full moon or you know whatever if i felt like i needed to anyways um since then now i'm like starting to like i'm able to feel crystals and energies of things and i'm able to see auras of things and i'm seeing light on a different level i'm seeing light on a whole different spectrum it's like i can see it on a fractal level if that makes sense i can see the light where it's coming from and i can watch it and see its ray and follow the rays each individual ray all the way down to where it is shining upon and I see auras of people and things. I just, I'm, I'm not really good at reading them yet. Um, and yeah, like all these weird, like spiritual gifts are being bestowed to me. And like, I went to AC Moore or not AC Moore, Michael's the other day to, to get, um, sorry. <laughs> I went into Michael's the other day to just like see what they had for crystals and stuff like that. Cause sometimes they have like cool crystal, um, jewelry and stuff. So, excuse me, um, I went in there and I like, for the first time, like I hadn't shopped for gemstones in a long time. So like, I, it was so cool to be able to pick up the gemstones and I actually felt their energy. And it was like a really cool experience. I just felt like so awesome, like standing in the store, like able to feel the energy of these crystals in my hands. And it was like a whole new experience because most of the time I buy most of my crystals online from like reputable people that I just like know and trust. And, um, so it's like, I don't get that experience like of going in the store and being able to hold the crystal and touch it and connect to it before I actually decide to buy it. So it was a really cool experience for me. Um, and, uh, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, Moldavite has completely opened my world up to whole, whole new, whole new 
things like um and I, I just want to say like it's affected me on a lot of different levels too like I don't know if you guys feel me on this but like I don't even feel the effects of marijuana like I used to anymore it's almost like that switch that used to turn off when I smoked pot doesn't turn off anymore um that's the only way I can explain it it's like I still get high you know but like not like I used to I don't know how to explain it since connecting with Moldavite um, also another thing is like I have a hard time watching movies and stuff like that because I feel like I'm watching myself watching the movie if that makes any sense it feels like why am I watching somebody else experiencing life I want to experience life myself that's one of my new feelings that I've been getting from Moldavite but I've also been mixing it with Libyan Desert Glass and now Azestulite and um, I've always had an obsession for Rainbow Moonstone <laughs> um, right now I'm wearing Rainbow Moonstone um, this is uh, Himalayan Gold uh, Azestulite and then this is Onyx with Herkimers and then oh on this here there's a Lemurian Quartz and Sedioloca Azestulite um, and then I have um, Raw Diamond Earrings here and I have Herkimer diamond earrings, but the raw diamond ones are kind of cool. Uh, I don't know if you can really see it from here, but yeah, kind of cool. Anyways, yeah, I like their energy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's my protection right now. Um, they're, they're a very nice mixture. I just kind of go with whatever feels good for the day <laughs> and whatever feels right, like whatever's jiving with me. Um, but yeah, um, I am excited to do these Moldavite giveaways and connect Moldavite to more people. So um, stay tuned and uh, make sure you like my channel, subscribe and bell notifications and post a comment, say, sh sh <laughs> throw a shout out. There you go. I said it. Throw a shout out and uh, tell me what's good. How you doing in your spiritual journey? What are you struggling with? What can I help you with? Um, a big one has been anxiety lately. A lot of us have been experiencing this anxiety in the collective. And that's perfectly normal. And I have some seriously awesome techniques that I can help you with. So if you are experiencing anxiety, I would love to, to just like talk to you one-on-one -on -one even. And just kind of help you with it. Because... <sighs> I was waking up at 2 to 4 o'clock in the morning every single morning and I still do kind of but like I'm able to go back to sleep a lot easier or just able to just be um, without having a panic attack because I was waking up in panic attacks and having anxiety all day long like full of anxiety and like I do have anxiety now and again but I just kind of calm myself down immediately and just like tell myself like I've had so many realizations from the anxiety too one of my realizations that I've had was um, that time doesn't matter and that we are so worried. Like, I, I was like, what am I, I've started thinking about like, what am I actually having anxiety about? I'm having anxiety about time. I'm having anxiety about money. I'm having anxiety about work. I'm having anxiety about Skylar in school and Isabel in school. I'm having all this anxiety over things that don't really matter i like came to this great realization like wow like money doesn't matter because the law of attraction like if we're able to trust in the universe and manifest things then we don't need to have money and all that and then it just goes in so much deeper than that it's like okay we don't need money and then it's like time time is like it time is an illusion and so isn't fear. It's like, if, if you start focusing your, your energy on like something that you enjoy doing, you notice how fast the time goes by. But if you stare at the clock instead, how slow it goes by, like it's all an illusion. It's all your perception and how you perceive it and, and like what you're doing and how you're projecting your energy, if that makes any sense. That's what I am perceiving. This is just my opinion and you can take it or leave it. Like I always say, I'm not here to preach. I'm just here to tell you my experience and um, let you guys know that you're not alone, you know, because there is shit going on right now. We are evolving as 
a collective. We are raising our consciousness. And a lot of people, if you're not resonating with this, this is okay. You're just not ready. That's okay. I don't judge you for that. And I'm not upset if you're out there calling me kooky either, because I used to say the same exact shit. I used to be like, 5D? What the fuck? Yeah, okay. Like, whatever, bro. You know? Uh, or like when they talked about Atlantis and or stuff like that, you know, I, I would make jokes about it. So it's like, I still have that same sense of humor. It's just now I'm realizing that these things are actually real. I'm just able to have the sense of humor on a different level. I get to have the ironic sense of humor of me knowing the truth and you not knowing the truth or you knowing the truth too and we get to laugh together on how funny it is that we were told that it wasn't the truth the whole time and it has been and um, how obvious it's been like the universe shows us so many different signs that we're all just one being it's in everything we are like the universe is inside of us and we are the universe it's just kind of amazing to think about and when i start thinking about it too much i start to like lose my thought i need to just flow and stop worrying about like what i'm i'm like so worried about giving you guys good content that like i'm worried that i start thinking about shit too much and then i'm not flowing you know what i'm saying I need to stop looking at this as like I'm trying to tell you guys something rather than like I'm just vlogging my journey. And lately it's been tough. I've been feeling a little blah. And what I've been doing to get through it, I've been listening to music. Music is so powerful. I love going for walks and connecting to nature and music is my shit. <laughs> And I'll listen to music and then I'll take off the headphones and just kind of like listen to the water and other things out there in the nature and, you know, connect to the na connect to nature and all that. But um, it's so important to take time to just adjust because when we're feeling off, I feel like it's our bodies adjusting to these new frequencies. That's how I feel, or at least that's how I feel for myself. I can't speak for you, but I can speak for myself. And I, I know that it feels like I need a timeout, like I need to adjust, I need to absorb, I need to digest what I'm experiencing because I'm experiencing these things and I'm experiencing them in a whole different way because I'm not liking the things that I used to like. I'm not doing the things that I used to do and I'm not feeling the ways that I used to feel. I, I don't have the guilt and I'm not fearful. The fear is almost gone. I mean, it's there every once in a while. It sneaks up on me and it's like, shmink, you know, and I'm just like, oh, hey, now <laughs> we're not 3D no more. <laughs> you know, you just got to kind of have like that fun dialogue in your head with yourself and just keep it, keep it light and keep it fun. And don't judge yourself ever because that's the worst thing that you can do. You know, like we are spiritual beings having a human experience. We have to give ourselves some credit. Like being a human is not easy being in the third dimension is not easy trying to raise this consciousness shit is not easy okay especially when you have so many people that are still asleep um but that's why i'm here doing this and why i feel so drawn to do this is because i know that i am here to spread the light i know i am here to help wake people up and i know that i am here to help you guys feel more open in your spirituality as well i know that I've always been um, kind of like my own trendsetter or whatever you want to call it. I've always walked to the beat of my own drum. I've always chosen my own path, not chose to follow others. I was the one that was leading the group of rebellion, <laughs> you know, spray painting my car just because, you know, it was salvage. So why not spray paint it, you know? No, I, I've always been spreading light and love throughout my whole life. And I, and I always will. That's just my mission. That's my mission here on earth is to spread love and light. And I really and truly believe that. And just recently I realized how important my role doing that is. And it's um, on a much more level than just loving people and teaching people how to love each other and connect to each other. But how also to raise their consciousness so that they're able to evolve with the rest of us but every soul has a choice so some souls aren't going to be ready for this and they'll decide to leave earth before you know we all jump whenever that is 
I guess it's not really, a, it's not like, it's not like we're going to a different place. It's the same place. It's just a different perspective. And I feel like I'm in like, I feel like I'm in like 4D right now because I'm tripping back and forth, back and forth. But I feel like I'm more steadily able to stay in the 5D. I'm more able to stay in the bliss and the happiness and the peace. It's just, I go through these times where it feels rocky and like I don't feel so sure of myself and I start to question like if I'm going crazy or if the shit's really happening and is this shit really magical and am I going crazy why am I feeling down and out am I on the right path and I start to like worry all, all this shit you know and then I remind myself that like it's just a restart you know it's like we have to recalibrate we just receive all these downloads and all this activations and it's like all the time i'm hearing this buzzing in my ears now it's like constant and um no i don't have tinnitus <laughs> we've already had that checked out doctor can't explain why there's buzzing in liz's ears well i can tell you <laughs> it's the light um anyways yeah as you can see i'm clearly glowing um i thought it was just me but, um, no, I've had it verified by several other people that I do indeed glow, um, and I'm not pregnant, unless I'm the Virgin Mary, because, like, I have not had sex in a long time. Cobwebs down there. Uh, yeah, it's TMI, sorry. Um, anyways, yeah, so stay tuned, and make sure you like, subscribe, and, um, pop a message down below how you're doing. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Are you resonating with this? Do you think I'm nuts? Like, what's up? <laughs> Drop me a line. Um, I'd love to connect with you guys and help you um, in any way that I can. This is what I feel drawn to do, really drawn to do. So I'm doing this. Like, I'm, I just got home from work and I'm not even upstairs yet. I'm making this video because I want to send it to you guys. I feel so drawn to do this. So here I am living my truth, <laughs> speaking it out and... Um, you know, here we go world, like, whatever, <laughs> you know, we worry what's going to happen next, but why worry, you know, the universe has a divine plan, you know, all in due time. Anyways, I will see you guys later and um, have a good night. And um, anything that you'd like me to cover, please put it in the messages, but make sure you like, subscribe, bell notifications, and make sure you comment on the video or you will not be eligible for next week's giveaway, which will be Moldavite again. So make sure you stay tuned. Alrighty. Thank you. Love and light.